Hey guys, this is me, Trainman, and welcome back to the Space Center. Uh, in Kerbal Space Program, of course. And here we are. Actually, let me go back out of the tracking center, because I don't remember exactly what we did last time. The thing that sticks in my liver is the fact that my recording went really bad. It went, it got extremely laggy, and I really don't know what I can do about it because it seemed to do so without any other reason. Now I'm going to take a look at this carbon fuel depot because I'm not really sure where we're going with this. I just know I want to, uh, come on. I just know it's going to be the kind of thing that I'm going to be able to dock ships to and transfer fuel to them and such. See, so this part should not be laggy and, um, why does it say S on? Oh, I turned SAS on so that it wouldn't, uh... You know, I wish I could... I wish there was a way to lock SAS to... I haven't played this game in a while. Lock it to a specific position on the globe. Not, uh, not just a specific orientation. That way it could keep it pointed like this and I could dock ships to, from the side like I want to. That's like... I'm tempted to eject these, these engines. Also, I feel like I should have put a Clampatron Senior on the bottom here, so I could attach more fuel tanks. You know what, in hindsight, you know what, I'm gonna make some improvements to this. I'm gonna go back to the Space Center and I'm gonna change up, um, the fuel depot just a little bit. Where's the fuel depot? Carbon fuel depot. It sounds a little loud. Oh, that's because, hold on, hold on, guys. After this thing loads up. Oh, wait. Hold on, guys. Alright, so we're back in the VAB, and I'm gonna add a little bit of weight to this thing, but I'm gonna do so to make our lives a heck of a lot easier. First thing I'm gonna do is pull this off. And I'm gonna grab a Sepatron. Sepatron, 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 Sepatron. This is Sepatron. Actually, sorry. It's gonna be. It's gonna be here. Um. Sepatron is in utility? No, it's in structure. Again, I'm sorry. It's been a little while since I played. Where's. There we go. The stack separator. And I need a Clampotron Senior. That's in here. There we go. I need another one down here, however. Alright, so Clampotron Senior, docking port. Where are you? In structural again. No, wait. I'm sorry. You're still in utility. Whoops. Nailed it. That way we can have just the whole fuel tank on its own. Um, but the thing with this now is we can detach this and have this capsule right here, but will be unable to pilot it back down to Earth. I'm gonna do some thinking, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so after much deliberation, I made this. Now, yeah, it's not beautiful, but it came to a point where I said to myself, Self, I feel bad for these guys. Okay, maybe I shouldn't start with self, but if you notice, I took the cupola module off. Reason being, it's a space station, it's gonna be up there forever, and I'll feel bad for the guys. But what I did do, I put on these, if you notice. These little tiny, tiny thrusters. This is supposed to deorbit the capsule. But while I was planning this, while I was going ahead and, you know, designing this, this launch vehicle, 
or rather, Orbiter. I came upon the fact that... This guy, sorry, I don't talk during the loading screens. But this guy... has no safe way of getting down. Now, sure, I could just kill him and be done with it. I'm sure no one would be griping. I mean, I would. But I'm sure no one else would be griping over me uh, murdering Jebediah Kerman because it happens all the time. But I'd rather not do that. So what I think I'm going to do is not only am I going to try and preserve as much fuel as there is in this tank. I'm going to turn off SAS because it's just about useful now. Are just about useless. I'm gonna try and preserve as much fuel as we can, so I'm gonna use a rocket. But I'm gonna try and get this guy down. Which means I have to dock something with this. Great. Let's go design a docking view. No, no, no. You know what? I'll save the, the space docking for next episode. Because what we need to do now... What we need to do now... I've gotten into the habit of not talking during the loading screen, so I start a thought and then stop. What we need to do now is get this thing into orbit, so let's go. Let's go, come on, come on, let's go. Launch. Space, let's go to space. I was very vaguely thinking of how... I could manage... No, no, not, not that, not physics work. I just want to make a day. Where's the sun? Whatever. We're going to space. Or the moon. As I said, I'm interested to know how other people do their gravity turns. Because mine are very, very wasteful. Whoa! Again, I haven't played this game in a little while. Once we lose these solid fuels, I'm going to go into a steeper gravity turn. Come on, let's turn. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Because the engines don't seem to be cooperating as much. Actually, that's SIS screwing us up. What am I talking about? Where's the ground mode? <laughs> I got completely and totally disoriented for no good reason. So yeah, as I said, tips on gravity turns, very helpful. See, that did us a lot more good than, uh... Crap. That's some lag right there. I'm not as concerned about the rolling problem as I, as, you know, I'm just really not as concerned as I probably should be. 
Um, because I can, I can get around it. I can work around it pretty easily because as long as I know to, to stay on track. Should be alright. Um, just gonna hold it a sec because I don't want to. <clears throat> sorry. I don't want to waste time, or I don't want to waste fuel more like. So for RCS fuel, come on. Stop my rotation. Let's get realigned. Orbit from being too elliptical. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful with this. Stage only. I want to see how much fuel I have. Except that doesn't. No, it helps. I'm sorry. Does it? Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. I lied. Um. Cut the engines out. Good, I don't want to waste any fuel. hate this. Oh, for God's sake. I don't like using this RCS fuel, but it, it's not helpful right now. It's not helpful to not, I mean. I have to. This thing is slightly heavier than the last, so I'm not 100% surprised if we use more fuel, but at least I'll be able to attach more capacity to it, and I'll be able to do, like, refueling tanker runs, which I'll almost definitely do off-camera because that that's tedious as heck. Maybe the tankers should be a little bit more nimble, though, something I don't have to worry about when, uh... How much fuel have we got left? Okay, again we have to do this, so let's look away from the ground and hold ALT. Hold on, I missed. I feel like I screwed some up. Oh. Yeah, I think we have a lot more fuel than the other one did. Turn off SAS.
Oh, come on. Gotta tease it. Damn it. Nope. 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 Oh, for goodness sake. 121, 120. You know what? I'll deal with that. Um. I don't remember what, but I was showing someone this game. And I was having trouble turning a rocket. And so what I actually ended up doing was... Instead of doing the sensible thing and like... I wish I could look around this. Instead of doing the sensible thing and uh... Well, I, I don't remember what happened. I think I forgot to add RCS. Yeah. I didn't put any RCS fuel on the thing or I didn't put any RCS thrusters. One of those. You know, it may have been a video that I did that. I'm not 100%. I'm not sure. But whatever I did, I didn't put RCS thrusters on the thing. And let's time warp. Uh, and so I needed a way to guide this, this ship into orbit. You know, the more I say this, the more I'm pretty sure it was a video that I did this in. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating this story. But I feel like I definitely didn't do it. I feel like I would have scrubbed the flight if that happened. Unless I was just screwing around with friends. So maybe it wasn't a video. I don't remember. Either way. What I ended up having to do was throttle up. And use the thrust vectoring. Wasted a bunch of fuel. I don't know why that story was so important for some reason. It just, to me, it was just all of a sudden like, Hey, I'll tell this dumb story. Kill some time while we wait for the burn. Estimated burn is less than one second. Can I still burn while the fuel tanks directly attached are off? Or are empty? I'm hoping so, because... Yeah, I can. Three, two... Yeah, let's check our uh, 121k, 122k. Actually, more than a. All right, I need to change something about this, which is the fact that it's a station. Oh my! Oh, just kidding. We have tons of electric charge. Um. I thought we were about to run out of power, which is happening before I was on some mission. This I'm pretty sure I didn't show because it was a long range mission, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was on a single player world. But I ended up getting caught in, in carbon eclipse, I believe, and I had no way of getting power and I just had to wait until I rounded the planet and then I could charge my batteries. That's so why we have this thing. Why is it upside down? This thing is... I feel like it's upside down, but I'm not sure. Is, please tell me guys, is this thing upside down or am I just going crazy? If you can see it, I know the video probably makes it look a little strange. What? I must have clicked off that one too quickly. Alright, now they're all empty. Now I can actually drop them, but I have no way of returning them to Earth if I do that. So I might just keep them on. No, I have to drop them. Need 
Yeah, I definitely do. Should have put some radial engines on this in hindsight. I think I'll do that when we get back into the VAP. But there go those. The reason I need to take them off is if I dock another one of these to this, it'll be using... How much? It'll be using... It'll have these attached as well, so I'll have to eject those from there as well. And then if I had to bring this back, if I had to bring this down to Earth, let's say I wanted to add more fuel capacity to this. This is my modular thinking going on here. Where's the sun? How come it's so dark? Okay, let's say I wanted to add more, more fuel to this. More fuel capacity. I'd bring up a ship identical to this one and made it directly to the rear. So you'd have this mirrored on the other side. So it'd be twice as long. You know, double everything. Have dual everything. But if in that case I wanted to... Or then, then I have these two. And it's this mirrored. But then if I wanted to add even more, what would I do then? Then we can't do anything, can we? We have a... Uh, these, these two things with these on the end. No, i wrong. That's incorrect. I can use this Sepatron right here. Not Sepatron. Separator. Always, always do that. To detach everything above it, which is the SAS module, the capsule, the whatever that is, the fuel tank and everything. And I can deorbit this whole section and you'll be left with another, uh, another Clampatron Senior. So you can attach them. And make a very long space station. Or alternatively, you could just park a second. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me right now. Alternatively, you can just park one next to it right here. Why is that interesting to me? It's cool looking. I don't know why. But yeah, so. I know we've spent two episodes on this star refueling station now. But, uh, oh well, that's what you guys get. So I'm going to go back into the VAB, and I'm going to build a retrieval ship. It's probably going to be very small. I'm going to build a retrieval ship. Be right back. Guys, I bring you Recovery 1. Designed to bring Jebediah Kerman back from deep space. Not really deep space. From low Kerbin orbit. I know it's a little lopsided, but hashtag deal with it. And I'm not, and I'm normally not one for hashtags. I don't have a Twitter either. Don't ask. But yeah, so we have some stuff that I haven't tested. Let's go. And in five, four, three, two, and wait. Bananas. Well, that's an issue. Okay, maybe they should all be firing at once. There we go, there goes that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's this is this is bad. This does not have enough power. It's okay though. So I'm just gonna cancel the flight. Want to get back over land? 
It has a poodle engine so that it can maneuver well in space. This thing, I have no doubt this thing will be emptier later. But it's not empty yet. And these parachutes need to deploy and hopefully not. That's what I hoped would not happen. Oh well. Okay, I have some adjustments to make. Okay, so I made some changes. One is obvious, one is not so obvious. You're about to see the very obvious one. That looks, that looks off very well. I'm going to orbit in the other direction. Well, I'm not actually aiming for orbit. Just kind of doing a test here. Why'd the noise just change? I don't get why the noise changes sometimes. It's confusing. That could have been worse. Drop the solid fuels, I have to tip over. I'm teaching myself about this rocket. Why is it like this? I don't have very much upward velocity, so I'm just going to come plummeting straight back down. Yeah, that's probably it. This is bad. This doesn't have enough thrust to do it. All oh, right, we're going backwards. Yeah, this thing can't make it into orbit. I'm gonna have to do some more testing with this. Either way, I wanted to test the other bit. Which means I need to burn retrograde. Which means I need to tip over. Nope, not that button. I'm sorry, I'm being silly. Being rather stupid. I 
want to fall straight down. No, I have to run prograde, so I'm screaming towards the ground. Don't think I've ever seen NASA do this. Why don't I just use RCS? I have it. Just forgot to use it. But that's the that's the other change I made. Either way, I have to change the external boosters to uh, something a little bit more powerful. Probably main sails and stuff. I didn't want this rocket to be a big one, but apparently it's going to be, so... What if I go on my RCS and I boost us downward? Did I increase our speed? No, I can't. Oh well. Hopefully this doesn't break us again. This thing shouldn't be too heavy. Right? Right? Right, guys? Too bad. No, it was too Well, that's a shame. It actually, wow. Okay, I didn't realize it did that. Okay, so, I have some changes to make. And, uh, I'll see you guys next episode. We've got another station in space. Great.